what's going on with here and views. My name is Ethan Cade, welcome back to the channel. And today, today I want to do something a bit different. I want to dive into basically looking at a system which the Evercade, in my opinion, has made basically irrelevant, you know, especially in the retro gaming scene. So talk about, let me talk about it. So obviously a few I think it was a few weeks ago to a few months ago at this point. Uh Ever Canadian, uh Pete from Ever Canadian made a video saying about how uh the Evercade had made a bunch of his of retro gaming devices obsolete. Some of the, some of the stuff you talked about was the Game Gear, Turbo uh, Express, but the game the game system I want to talk about is obviously the Atari Lynx. Now, why is the Atari Lynx relevant? Well, as you can see here, we have two Evercade collections. Both of these have, uh, well, combined these have twenty five Atari Lynx games for a system that only had about a hundred games during its official lifespan. Yeah, the. The, the Atari Lynx has a quarter of its games on the Evercade already. Now, right for those of you who don't know, the new Evercade XP, which comes out later this year, has, has tape mode, which means you can flip it on the side and play some games like that. Several Atari Lynx games had that feature. So if you have an Evercade XP, you can probably flip that on the side and play some of those games vertical, which is great. And some of the games on here, these games like Chips Challenge, you know, you've got games like... Uh, Scrapyard Dog, you know, you've got Space Miners too. There's some great games on it. Problem is, right, if you have an Atari Lynx, obviously you've got to worry about the battery, you've got to worry about the screen, because the screen's quite terrible compared to today's standards. And Evercade kind of just, like, has a better version of that. The Evercade Handheld and the Evercade EXP for portable gaming makes the Atari Lynx irrelevant. Because obviously... It's got a charge of battery, it's got a better screen. The new EXP has a tape mode, so you can still do the same thing. You can still flip it on the side and play the games vertically like that. You know, and the fact there's 25 games from the Atari Lynx already on Evercade platform is actually really good for you know fans of the Atari Lynx. Because that means hey, you know, if your Atari Lynx is degrading and you can't really afford to get a new one or you can't pay them fat or whatever it costs to get it like you know modded to fix it. Then you can just get an Evercade and get these cartridges because these cartridges are quite cheap. They're only like £18 each. So that's good. And also with the Atari Lynx, right? There's been a lot of talk about a third collection and a lot of people have been theorising well, who's going to be the next, who's going to be the first developer on Evercade to get a third collection. Now people will argue technically Atari already has five carts. The Atari's name is on five carts. One arcade, two Lynx collections and two standard collections. But I reckon Lynx is, Lynx is actually a really good contender. For a, for, a, well, for a line of cards that could get a third or fourth entry, especially if you get companies like Songbird Productions, where you get a bunch of the homebrew games on it. That would be huge. And it would also make the Evercade arguably the, the, the best place to play Atari Lynx games, which would be really ironic, considering the Atari Lynx exists. And Yeah. Anyway, guys, let me know your thoughts about this one in the comments below. Do you want to see Atari Lynx games, more Atari Lynx games than Evercade? Do you think... The other case has made the Atari Lynx irrelevant and pointless to collect for. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments down below. You know, if, you, if you're new here, make sure you like, share, subscribe. You know, maybe, maybe you share me about on Facebook, Twitter, wherever you are. You know, so get the conversation going. You know, strike a conversation. You can follow me on Twitter as well. Uh, I think the link's in my banner. So, yeah, you can do that. Anyway, I've been Heathgate and I'm signing out. Peace.